My heart and my welcome. Round 13 action of Southern League out here at the United Sports Centre. Christchurch United hosting Salwyn. It's top of the table for second to bottom. All to play for here. Points important for both sides. Christchurch United will be looking to cement a position in the National League. But for Salwyn, well, they'll be looking to push off that bottom of the table and remain in the Southern League for another year. It was a pretty close encounter the last time these two sides met. Salwyn almost holding on for a classic draw. In the end, though, Christchurch United, two goals in injury time to take the three points. So they'll be looking to take positives from that game into this one. As things look, a 4-1 win last week for Christchurch United. For Salwyn, they went down 5-3 to Ferrymead Bays. For Salwyn, it's been tough to find the back of the net. 15 goals, 34 conceded for Christchurch United. 33 goals, only four conceded so far this season. So it's going to be a tough ask for Salwyn today, but I'm sure they'll be up for it. Just having a look at the starting lineups for Salwyn United. Barima in goal, Mackay, Ullett, Stevenson, Grosvenor, Hanley, Amofo. Mackay, Cotton, Sims and Caradus for Christchurch United. Morrison goal, O'Driscoll, Lindsay, Grover, Lapsley, Godden, Khalifa, Stokes, McLennan, Phillip and Peterson round out the starting 11s. Both captains ready in the centre with the referees. Today, beautiful day here in Christchurch on Matariki Friday. No wind, sun's out. And it's about 15 degrees. Should remain this way throughout the game. Let's see, there is a slight breeze blowing. Probably from the bottom of your screen to the top. But other than that, perfect conditions for a game of football. Well, the tactic has really been against Christchurch United for size to just sit back and defend for as long as they possibly can. We've seen it very effectively done. But the problem is when Christchurch United get that first goal, it just changes the game. So Sal will need to hold on longer than they did last time and see if they can frustrate the side and get them on the counter. I'm sure Coach Lee Padmore will have the drawing board up and some tactics being run all week. So he'll be ready to go. There is one sad note. Fan favourite Jesse Wright at home on dad duty, the birth of his first child won't be playing for Selwyn United today which is a real shame obviously a big cult following for Jesse Wright well we look set to go here as the players in position not the biggest crowd in today I suppose long weekend a few games on as well at the same time so spreads it pretty thin in the Garden City but the referees look set have completed their checks and we're underway and it will be Salwyn in possession of the ball first up. It's going to be interesting to see how the first few minutes of this game goes. Just the way that Christchurch United would look to play, keep that ball for as much as they can and good to see what Salwyn have to offer early on. I think we've seen teams play against Christchurch United, they can just hold the ball and build pressure through possession. It does help that you'll see the way that they'll just get into their work. As we said, they are going to press quite high today, uh, Selwyn. It's good to see. There's Carrados, far side for Selwyn. Back as far as Barima in goal. Captain Ullett. Room in number five. 
Okay. Far side for Stevenson. Good movement so far for Selwyn. As Christchurch United happy to sit at the moment. As Barima has plenty of time to send this one forward and does so. They can't keep that one in. I think for Christchurch United, they'll be looking for an early goal. So in terms of a few of their games, they've made scoring a little bit more difficult than they probably would like. Coach Paul Eiffel, he would have been exceptionally happy with the Chatham Cup. Game against Kashmir Technical. And they came away with a 3-0 win into the next round. And drawn away against Hamilton. And Driscoll. Near side for Lapsley. Good touch from him on the chest. McLennan. Good turn from him as he drives down the line. Does get the ball across. And are able to clear their lines. Uh, Selwyn, good touch here. It's a good play. So McKay on the near side in position now. Drops back. Amorfo. Back to the captain. All right, as he sends that one forward. But it's Lindsay who gets there first and he drives into the half. Still going is Lindsay. Far side now for Peterson as he chases that one down. Goes back for Grover. I like the way that Selwyn are pressing though. Just letting Christchurch United play the ball around the back, forcing them to be smart about their decision making. It's a good start to the game for Selwyn. Quiet at the United Sports Centre as well. A few of the faithful fans from both sides here on the long weekend. There's this one sent forward. As United Look to play with it as Morris steps forward. Drops on this near side for O'Driscoll. He steps forward. Lapsley. Runners making the move. Good ball forward. Stokes. What can he do with it here? Numbers come forward. Khalifa steps onto his left. Can he get the shot away? Goes by line. Drops it back here for Stokes again. And good defensive work from Salwin. It was Sims, I think, all the way back from the top to defend. It's great work from the number 11. And it's back as far as Morris now. So they'll come again. Will crush it, United. You can see the work rate at the moment from Selwyn. There's a bit of space here for Peterson as he tries to find the feet of Stokes. Still with Peterson. Stokes now. Good link play here from Crush it, United. And cleared away there by Amafo. Got it. Lindsay forward again now for Peterson. Finding a bit of space on that far side as Peterson crosses. Good work there from Barima. And was McLennan arriving. Just stuck his mitts out and grabbed hold of that one. So wayward pass there, but no harm done. Mackay. Far side for Stevenson. As Peterson comes forward on him, but it's away. And it is turned over, and Stokes is coming forward with it now. Khalifa. McLennan was the goal scorer in the last game. And somehow that snuck it. It's Lindsay, the centre-back, who made a charging run forward 
And as he looked to cross that one, Barima just couldn't get enough of it and it snuck in at the front post. So the deadlock is broken here inside the first six minutes. As Christchurch United lead, one goal to nil. It wasn't the prettiest goal we've seen scored, but it does count. So now Salwan are going to need to respond. Edison gets on that one, but out of position. So easy for Stevenson. As Caradus tries to keep that in, but no. So he does turn it round there. It's foul called now by the referee. As Crossed United asked for the advantage, not given, but they do take it quickly. As a Driscoll lap sleep. McLennan just lose out there as Selwyn try to clear their lines. They do well. And as the assistant referee calls that one back. It'll be a throw in for Christchurch United. Just able to find space at the moment. Uh, Christchurch United on that far side. It's Peterson. Doing a lot of work, Khalifa now. Philip down for Peterson. It's a good ball. Centers, but cleared away again. Good defensive work from Mackay. As Selwyn looked to break here, but O'Driscoll steps forward. And possession hard to come by at the moment for Selwyn. Lapsley. McLennan. He puts this forward for Philip. But can't get there first as Mackay steps forward. Stevenson. Stokes takes the shot. Asking a little touch on the way through there, says the referee. Will be the corner. First set piece of this first half. Numbers back in defence at the moment for Selwyn. They're all back defending this corner as the ball comes in. And that's not a great corner from Stokes, I think it was. As Barima, happy to see that one. Out for a goal kick as they take it quickly. But again, possession turned over. I do like the way that Salwan are pressing. Not just letting Christchurch United play with the ball and around the back. It does mean that they're finding a bit of space down those flanks as the goal scorer pops that one forward for Stokes. Grover sending this forward for Khalifa. Just a bit too much on that one. Still looking to be positive, Salwan, though. They want to go short, but yep. so happy to play it out from the back as Grosvenor comes near side for a Moafo, but his touch is a little off. And it is turned over again. And Driscoll deep in his half. Lindsay. 
Khalifa. Back for Lindsay. O'Driscoll. Looking for Lapsley. But it's good work there from Amafo. But again, possession turned over pretty quickly. There's a good challenge there from Sims. And that ball there, just too much on it again there. Christchurch United forcing those passes. As Barima looks to go long this time. Good connection with it over the halfway line, but they do come forward with it as Grover uses Godden. Relatively quiet so far in this game. And as Lapsley puts it forward for McLennan, bit of space for him delivers but again rest delivery there from McLennan he's not happy with himself and another goal kick here pressure really coming on Selwyn at the moment just unable to maintain position in their own half as a heavy touch there from McLennan falls for Hanley forward for Cotton Offside there from Sims, I think it is. There's Grover. Bit of space for him to move forward. As he searches for Philip in the middle, falls there for Stokes. Khalifa. Lindsay, Khalifa again. Grover. Forward for Peterson as he's unfortunately tripped there. I think there was too much in it. Just a foul, says the referee, but a dangerous position for a set piece. There's Lapsley. Goes over to take this one. Pretty Similar heights for both sides. No real advantage for either from the set piece. As Lapsley sits over this one, probably will be a delivery here. As he goes towards the back post, but can't find anyone there. And it will be another goal kick here for Selwyn. Just got to somehow find a way to hold on to a bit more possession. As again, turned over. Stokes finds the feet off Peterson, trying to find a way through there. But it was Mackay who put a foot in, but it's still here, and it will be Barima who comes up for that one. As he looks to send this one forward, but almost hits his own player there. It was Hanley. There's Khalifa. Comes away with it. Godden. He steps forward. Trying to find the feet there of Peterson, but blocked the channel. And Selwyn able to come away with it. Amafo on this near side. He launches forward here, but that'll go back as far as Morris, who it's a good touch to send that one to Lindsay. As he steps forward now. Grover on the far side. Still going as Grover drops for Lindsay. Khalifa. And Driscoll. And play breaks down here as Sims drives forward with it. Finds the feet of Cotton. Can they get numbers forward here? As Hanley trying to chase that one down but falls to Morris. It's better from Selwyn. Yeah. 
confidence building, I'm sure. There's O'Driscoll now. <laughs> Lindsay, a heavy touch, but no one close enough there. Lapsley. Khalifa. McLennan, pack four, Khalifa. Lapsley. Switching play here. It has a good touch there from Lindsay. Driving forward was Caradus. Stokes. Pack four, Grover. Stokes. Is that one blocked there? And will be a throw in. This at the moment, though, Christchurch United getting into their work and just controlling possession, trying to find a way through the cell and defence. So we have had one goal here, scored by the centre back, Lindsay. There's another chance here, cross the face of goal, and just sent out for a corner there by a Mofo. There's been a few set pieces, plenty of goal kicks for Salwan to defend. As I look for better delivery this time. As they go towards the back post, dropped there by Barima, but no one there for Christchurch United as they send this one down to the halfway line is Grover. Uses lap sleep, can't. As Grover and Lapsley have switched sides. Stokes. And it does find its way. Out of the field. Be a throw it on this near side for Selwyn. 18 minutes gone here in this first half. 1-0 the scoreline in favour of Christchurch United. Lindsay, the goal scorer. As this falls now for Phillip. He'll be looking to add to his tally of 15 this season. Still going as Phillip. As eventually runs out of room. It'll be a goal kick. Peaceful day here in Christchurch. That wind's almost dropped off a little bit more since we've had this first 20 minutes. But again, Salwood trying to find a way out from their back line. Mackay sends this one forward, but it's Grover who's there first. And again, Christchurch United will come. McLennan back for Lapsley. McLennan again. Trying to link there with Lapsley. But Hanley in good position to send that one away. And again, just can't find a way to hold on to the ball at the moment. Can sell it. And there's advantage called by the referee. Far side now for Peterson as he steps inside, but enough of a foot on that. There's Sent far side for Caradus as he launches this one forward looking for Cotton to run onto it. But Lindsay there first and will resettle again. This is just almost the way that Christchurch United have been playing all season. They get that ball and just look to switch side to side until they can find an avenue through. There's Philip now in good position. Centres, but it's easy again for Barima. Some will get low in the second half here. Make it a little bit difficult for the goalkeeper, so maybe an opportunity for Selwyn in that second half. The Mofo skill from him just to hold that as he drops it back to his captain. And just ball speed not quick enough as well for Salwin. There's that one turned over and Peterson into a space. Philip one on one with the keeper. Good save from the keeper. He got big 
And from his own error, he was able to deny Philip. That was a great save. Philip can't believe it. Can't add to his tally, but that was some save there from Barima. He'd made up there for that mishap with the first goal. That was close range, and he picked his Philip. They survive again here to Selwood. Momentum shift needed here. It's relatively quiet out on the field as well. There's not a big crowd in today, so the field does make up the majority of the noise here. As Grover sends this one forward, can't find Philip though. There's Khalifa in the end. It's a little touch on that. It'll be a goal kick. Selwyn, relatively quiet out on the field as well. So on Christchurch United, to be fair. Can hear Barima talking to his troops. As again, turned over here. It's just that midfield at the moment for Selwyn. As Cotton does well to win that one back. Plays for Sims. As he goes back to Hullet. Trying to find some space as Khalifa pushes forward, but they have found some space now. And on that far side for Stevenson. As can't quite connect there. There's Caradus. But it has fallen again here for Salwin. As Driscoll steps forward, gets something on that, but they're still coming. Ah, Salwin. Pass there, it goes astray, and the cleaner uses Stokes. I'll just look to recycle this again. There's Lapsley, cuts out for Lindsay Grover, Peterson, Khalifa. Good ball forward here for Stokes. Numbers coming forward on defence though for Salwin as they try and keep things out. Chip forward here and a great little head there from Peterson coming through. And the second goal scored here by Peterson there. Great little ball through from Stokes and Peterson just got enough of a touch on it there to beat the keeper. 24 minutes gone. 2-0 the scoreline now in favour of Christchurch United. It's that possession to continue to hold. Moment, Selwyn just don't quite have an answer for it. The thing I do like though is they still look positive when they're trying to come out. It's just some heavy touches that are costing them wayward passes at the moment. I do like the positive play. Just launching it forward. There's well held up there by Cotton. Yeah, sent forward, but Caradus won't be able to get to that one. It'll be a throw on the far side. So 25 minutes gone here, 2 0 the scoreline. Goals for Lindsay and Peterson for Christchurch United. Morris is relatively quiet so far in goal. Barima though, it's, he's already made a couple of big saves. One on one with Philip, denying him. Yes, here is Morris now. Driscoll. Lindsay, he steps forward. Grover, Khalifa, drops again for Grover. Good run forward here from the fullback. As I think, there's a corner. 
It was good play there between him and Khalifa on the far side. Wins the corner. It looked exceptionally dangerous so far from set piece of Christchurch United. Will be Lapsley to take it from the far side. Seen all numbers back for Selwyn. It's Morris who's on the halfway line. Delivery good this time. Headed away though. And a bit of space here for Hanley to come forward with it. And it's a good run there by Stevenson. Still going. Can Stevenson chase this one down? Just going to run out. There's corner being asked for, but three points to the goal kick. A good counter attack there from Salwin. It's just that question of if you're going to go, go hard. And I think it's waiting there a little bit too long for Stevenson's run. As Christchurch United will get back into their work position. And again, that far side is, seems to be opening up for them as Philip now in a bit of space. Tries to cut back. That will be another corner, I think. No, goal kick says the assistant referee on the far side. Philip doesn't seem too concerned about it. So it's been a good call there. Well spotted. As they go short again here, do Salwin. Just unable to get out of the press that's coming from Christchurch United. That's better though, as it falls for Cotton. As McLennan tracking back on defence, and he'll just send that one back to Morris. And I'll drive again from the back here, Will United, Lindsay. Peterson, good turn from him. Far side now for Grover. Lindsay. Peterson. Stokes. Drops for O'Driscoll. Lots of numbers forward here as we see Khalifa track around from midfield to the centre back position, but numbers are committed forward here. Someone can counter. Peterson, Stevenson comes forward on him. Grover. Lindsay. And they do turn it over. Let's see if they can make anything from this. There's Sims battling, but loses out there. And McLennan. No, Driscoll. Two centre backs happy to get forward. Yeah, there's a rear right-footed pass there from Lapsley. There's that one chip forward there, but McLennan just can't quite get that rhythm at the moment for centering. Amalfo on this near side, dances around McLennan, drops back for his captain, Hanley. And a good switch there for Kiaradus. Sims, this is good from Salwin. As, as I say that, of a heavy touch on the far side from Sims. So a bit of cloud cover coming in here. Sims is hiding away, but still relatively nice as a ball forward here for McLennan. Amalfo does enough, though. It will be a throw in. Got it. Centres for Lindsay. Far side now for Grover. Looks to deliver, but a good touch there from the defence. But again, they'll come again. It was Stevenson. Stokes, bit of space on the top of the box. Uses Khalifa. Grover. Just can't get. It was Peterson, it was. Can't get around Stevenson there. It's been a good battle between those two. On the far side. Just 
fantastic in that pass out from Salwin, just unable. Uh, centering ball there, foot in though. And it will be a corner, but he's trying to play it short, which is positive from Salwin, but just turning it over in dangerous positions and inviting United to come forward with it. Corner this time. Which, to be fair, did create Salwin's chance to counter last time. So let's see what they can do here. Lapsley will deliver. Delivery's good this time, and it is Philip there, unmarked on the penalty. Well, on the six yard mark, really, and just taps that in with his head. All the time in the world to line it up. Philip gets his 16th for the season. And with 32 minutes gone here, it's 3 0 in favour of Christchurch United. I'm sure United will look to keep going from here. Amalfo sends this one forward, but it's O'Driscoll again there first. Yeah, as McLennan just lets that one roll out. Khalifa drops back for McLennan. Somehow gets away from numbers there. Drops for Stokes. Advantage, says the referee. Far side now for Grover. Still time left in this first half as puts it forward for Philip, who looks to centre, but will be another corner. Let's see if they change their defensive setup this time, Salwin. Will be Lapsley again to deliver. Bit more cloud cover coming across now.
sent forward this time as Morris has to come out and they send this one forward as far as Lapsley. Lapsley drops for McLennan. Khalifa back for McLennan. Lapsley. Stokes drops for McLennan. Looks for four. Phillip there. Good pass through as Phillip drops back for Stokes. Far side now for Grover. Good possession here from Christchurch United as McLennan controls that one with his face. And good challenge there as it falls for Sims in a bit of space as he tries to thread it through for Cotton. But O'Driscoll there first. And they'll break the press. Need to reset on defence here, do Salwin. Lindsay. Khalifa. Lindsay running forward with it. There's a goal scorer in this game from centre back. So playing with all the confidence at the moment. Stokes. Grover. Stokes. Back for O'Driscoll. As they look to switch on to this near side for Lapsley. Just a lot of time at the moment for Christchurch United. Grover delivers, but blocked. It will be another corner. Almost 39 minutes gone here in this first half. 3 0, the scoreline in favour of Christchurch United. Goals for Lindsay. Peterson and Phillip. And as we just wait for a ball here to be delivered. So it will be Lapsley to deliver. High delivery, O'Driscoll tries to get onto that one. Amafa will send that one away, but no one forward for Salwin. So it's Lindsay who's there first, and he sends it back in, but interception here. A bit of space now for Salwin. Can they make something of it? Sim stepping forward, far side now for Cotton. Numbers coming back for Christchurch United, as Sims working hard there, but Grover dancing around. Actually, they have to clear their lines here. And as they do so very well. A good opportunity there for Salwin on the counter. Just need to be a bit more decisive, I think, when they have that time. And there's a bit of a head clash here. The referee does call time. Bit of friendly fire. Let's hope they're okay. Let's just recap this first half so far. Three goals for Christchurch United. First goal, centre back Lindsay. Trying to run down the byline and managed to sneak it through Barima at the front post. Then it was Peterson, scores with his head. And then finally Phillip getting his 16th of the season from a corner. Just a bit of a break in play here at the moment as two Salwin players came together. I think it was Mackay and Stevenson there. Both look to be on their feet though. Might come off for a quick check. As Coach Lee Padmore takes the time to have a wee discussion with his side. Four minutes of regulation time remaining in this first half. One way traffic really. As both players for Selwyn look ready to come back on. 
And they are both back onto the field. It's good to see. Ola Lapsley wins out on that one. Still going. Good strength shown there from Lapsley as he threads that one through here for Peterson. Almost leaves it behind. Falls for Phillip. McLennan. Amafo does well. And still going is McLennan, but it does fall now for Mackay. And they do get a good switch in here, trying to clear their lines, but it's Grover there first. Khalifa heads down for Grover. Looks to deliver, but will be another corner here for Christchurch United. Relentless at the moment from the home side. Be looking forward to a, have a break at half time, I'm sure. Just the work, though, from the likes of Cotton and Sims up top and tracking back on defence. So it will be Lapsley to deliver again. And his delivery this time easy for Selwyn as Sims. Unable to keep that one in on the far side. Numbers still forward though for Christchurch United. Haven't managed to clear their lines yet. McLennan. Lap sleep. As he looks to deliver again. It's a good looking ball in but headed away. There's Henley. Excuse me, Hanley just headers that one. Oh, just launches that one into the sky. And it has fallen now. For Christchurch United. Near side for Mackay. Hanley chips that one down the line. Stokes who's there first. McLennan battling away. Godden. Stokes. Space for Grover on that far side. They use him. Peterson. Phillips there with him. Peterson finding some space now. Still going. Falls here for Khalifa. Peterson drops for Phillip. Grover. Peterson. Can he turn? As it just falls there. But no one there for Christchurch United. But somehow McLennan gets there first. As a shot comes in, a good save there from Barima. As Gordon gets the shot away. As we tick into the last minute of regulation time. Assistant referee on the far side has his board ready. A couple of minutes, I'm sure, to be added. And Selwyn look to get this one out of their own half. You can see Lee Padmore is very vocal on the bench there. I'm sure we have a to say at half time is it will be two minutes of added time here it will be another set piece here for the corner for Christchurch United as again they commit numbers forward and Selwyn all behind the ball see Morris the goalkeeper up as far as halfway as Lapsley deliver again and it is cleared away. Falls here for Sims. He just launches that away. Down as far as the halfway line. There's good pace shown there by the ball boy. O'Driscoll. Pressure coming now from the kite it was, but Steps back. O'Driscoll. Still going as O'Driscoll. Lapsley. Switches again. Just sitting deeper now, uh, Selwyn. As Christchurch United look to break them down. It's the thing about that early goal. 
Just changes the way you can defend. If you want to salvage the point, but more points. As this one now crawls with a Driscoll just inside his own half. No real pressure coming from him as he sends this one forward, trying to find the feet there of Peterson and gets a shot away. Good block. It was Stevenson who just slid in at the perfect time there to block the shot of Peterson. So it will be another corner here for Christchurch United deep in this first half. 3-0 the scoreline. As Lapsley will again look to deliver this one. As he goes towards the back post. O'Driscoll no headers that back one back in. Falls now for Peterson. Lapsley. And that'll do it, says the referee. As Lapsley puts it in the back of the net, but that one won't count. So the first half done and dusted here at the United Sports Centre. Round 13, Southern League. Christchurch United will take a three goal to nil lead into the break. We'll have a quick 15 minute break here. Don't go anywhere.
Hockey Mai. Welcome back to United Sports Centre. The second half of this round 13 Southern League action between Christchurch United and Darwin United. At the moment, one way traffic in favour of the home side. Up three goals to nil. Goals for Lindsay, Peterson, and Philip. Keep it up, BJ. Interesting to see if Selwyn looked to change their tactics in the second half. And happy to play the ball out from the back, which was causing a few problems. Just unable to link his passes. And getting put under a bit of pressure. As we just look to see if there's any changes for the Christchurch United side. Looks like Coach Paul Weifel is sticking with the same 11. At the start of this second half. The talent still on the bench as well. At the moment, it's just Christchurch United out on the field. Jerry Padmore, I'm sure, still deep in tactical conversation with his side. Still pretty nice day here. Cloud cover has come over as that first half progressed. And the temperature has dropped ever so slightly. Still a good day for watching football. And news through the other games taking place. Cashmere Technical down at the moment. Three goals to two. Well, they're down 3 0, in fact, at one stage. So they've fought their way back into it. An interesting one to keep an eye on. But Selwyn, well, they'll need to change something in this half. Christchurch United just clinical in the way they came forward. And for Selwyn, many chances really falling their way. Could have been more in that first half, but Barima in goal with a couple of big saves. And as we do now see Selwyn returning to the field, as well as the referees. Stevenson, number 14. Busy workload for him against Peterson. Yes. Just look to see if there's any changes as well. Doesn't look to be at this stage for Selwyn. 45 minutes of action ahead of us here. Well, it's Christchurch United yet to be beaten this season. Just the one draw against Kashmir Technical. And they have also played one less game than the rest of the league. As the players all out into the field necessarily know if they all look ready to go but the referees doing their final checks and it will be Christchurch United to get us back underway we do have one change it was Cotton who has been replaced at half time And Grosvenor as well on up top. So, underway for the second half here. Christchurch United in the blue playing from left to right on your screen. As they get back into their work of possession football. There's Lindsay. Plays far side for O'Driscoll, and he just steps into the half. Lapsley, yeah, good work there. Play breaks down. Sims gets ahead to that, but can't connect. 
Yeah, if the goals were not. McClennan. Lapsley. Plenty of time on the ball for him. So he gives it for McLennan. Khalifa. Back for Lapsley. No real pressure coming here. As did eventually come there from Caradus, but played onto this near side for Grover, who's in plenty of space. And he just sends this one forward, trying to find Stokes there, but it has fallen for Peterson. McLennan. Still going as McLennan. As Amafo stepping forward, launches this one forward. And is that offside? Yes, says the referee. Would have been a great run. And he managed to stay on side. Positive start, though, for Salwin. Lindsay. Stokes. Peterson. As they can't hit the target there. Phillip. A silky play there from Christchurch United. Phillip off target. New goal kick. This will be interesting here. And they have going. Stop the short play. Looking to go long here. There's Barima. Sends this one down as far as the halfway line. But it's Khalifa who's there first. Falls again for Khalifa as he pushes that one forward. But it's fallen again. Phillip sends this forward here for McLennan. Can the keeper come out? Does well. Still going as McLennan. Almost took him down there. But was lucky. And as it falls back here for Lapsley, got in onto this near side as Grover has to step back a bit to collect that one. They're sitting a lot deeper in this half. Uh, Salwin as Peterson. Back for Grover. Peterson. Lindsay looks to deliver, but no one there. And that one will just bounce away, probably for a throw-in on the far side. Now, there's a heavy touch there from Grosvenor. Yeah, clean it. Drops here for Stokes as he threads that one through for Peterson. Great goalkeeping there from Barima. There's Peterson one on one with him. And they come again now. There's Peterson leaves that one behind. Stevenson picks it up. Rosner in a bit of space. There's Godden gets on that one. Sims was coming forward. Just a little bit too far in front of him. Definitely changed tactically here. Have Selwyn sitting deeper. Looking to get them on the counter a little bit more as Stokes. Twists and turn. There's Khalifa. Heads that one. There's Peterson. Was there. And as everyone says, just talk to each other. Sent forward here, but... No real pressure there for Lindsay. As so he looks to send that back in, but it's the key captain who gets there first. And just a little messy passage there from both sides. No one really going to bring possession under control as Stevenson throws. And Lindsay gets a touch on it, but it falls here for Hanley. Drops back for Ullett. Far side now for Amafo. Henley gets there. And they have numbers now, do Salwood. What can they make from this? Sims, time for him on this near side. Grover coming across. And just does enough to slow the play down. Numbers are able to get back. And it will be a throw in now for Christchurch United. As Salwood look to hold them in. Grover throws long. 
Hanley, bit of time for him. This is good from Selwyn as Lapsley and O'Driscoll almost tangle up there as Stevenson does well there. There's a bit more pressure now coming and at the moment Crosshitch United aren't responding to it as they go for goal and it's a good little effort there. Morris just slightly off his line. Grosvenor taking a chance. It's like a little bit more life in the team this half. Yeah, as O'Driscoll steps back nicely. Far side now for Stokes. As he looks to switch but doesn't get enough of that one. But falls for Khalifa. McLennan drives this one in. It's Stevenson again who's there. Stokes. Grover on this near side. Finds the feet off Peterson. Cuts back. Anyone there for Christchurch United? Still going is McLennan. As he finds Lapsley. There's Lapsley trying to find a way through here. Gets the cross in, driven low, but cleared away again as Godin goes for goal. But I think that's offside there from Khalifa. So it will be a free kick for Salwin. As you can see, this will be Todd Smith for United warming up on the far side. if he's carrying any kind of injury or he's coming back from injury. He's normally the captain of the side, so on the bench at the moment. There's no foul, says the referee. Khalifa almost takes out the ball boy there. As Stevenson throws, Lindsay gets the head to that one. And Stokes just sends that forward, and Phillips on the right side of him here. Tracking back, though, as Mackay centred. And McLennan almost gets that on his left as Khalifa chases far side. Amafo, though, does well. And Selwyn, Karadus now able to clear their lines, but a good opportunity again for Christchurch United. Bremer. Pressure coming now though. Press on from Christchurch United and almost there was Khalifa. As it does fall eventually for O'Driscoll. Khalifa drops forward here for Stokes. And a good challenge there from the captain. Will be a corner. As referee is having a chat with someone here. Not sure what about. It will be a corner. It will be Stokes to deliver this time from the far side. Slightly different setup for set piece this time. Crowding the six yard area as they kind of go for goal, but Verima picks that one up. And this has to wait for his numbers to get forward as everyone back there for Salwin. Grover sends this one forward, trying to link with Peterson. As Mackay does enough. There's always a change on the board coming. Looks like it'll be Salwin making a change. Sims. Barima under a bit of pressure there as to clear his lines. 
and as it does look like Todd Smith will be coming on. Not sure he will be replacing at the moment. No Driscoll. Wapsley. Lindsay. No one back at the moment for across from no, Khalifa drops it off here. Chance to shoot. And misses the target there. Does Stokes. There's changes coming now. So it is Philip by the look of looks of things being replaced by Todd Smith. And also Peterson coming off, replacing Cole. So Cole and Todd Smith onto the field. Like I said to see, I think that'll push Stokes up top. As Todd Smith will get into the middle. And Cole will come onto this near side. Barima gets us back underway. Calls there as it's sent back and Amafo leaves that for his keeper which sends that one out and it will be a throw in on the far side. It's a wayward pass again. A few of those basics letting Selwyn down today. As Stokes turns. McLennan drops again for Stokes. As Lapsley chooses not to use centres, but too far there, and Barima will collect that one. And rolls for Sims. Crosnina leaves that one alone, and Amoa Foa will send it forward, and a wee chance here. Bit of pressure coming, but just can't quite get there. As Morris just calmly pushes that to the side. And Ford will come. Christchurch United again as Stokes onto this near side for Cole. His first touch. Grover. It's not quite sure what to do with it there. Drops it back for Lindsay. O'Driscoll. Oh, he steps forward. Far side now for McLennan. Bit of space for him as he looks to deliver. Just hasn't quite been able to get that delivery right today. And there's Godin battling away on that far side. Still going as Godin. Amoa Fowler does well though to just slow the play down as Hanley now will step away. Room for a midfield. Khalifa chasing back. Still going as Hanley as he just slows it down. So I'd like to see Selwyn just continue that run and just see what they can make of it on the counter. Sims was charging forward as well. But Christchurch United able to get behind the ball. Todd Smith drops for Grover. Stokes. Todd Smith sends that far side for McLennan, who can't keep that one in. minutes gone in this second half 3-0 still the scoreline in favour of Christchurch United there's Cole chance here for Cole can he get away and another good save there from Barima as it will be a corner ball he's made some good one on one saves today has the number one goal for Selwyn corner here it will be Lapsley to come over good opportunity there for Cole couldn't quite find the right angle there Barima did well coming out Lapsley goes short for Grover Lapsley changes the angle delivers in and a great header there 
from Stokes it was. Wow. So, 4 0, the scoreline now. It's a good set piece there from Christchurch United, just mixing it up to change that angle with the short corner. And then a great delivery from Lapsley. So, a very well timed run from the number 10, Stokes. So, they're sharing the scoring round as we do see a change coming now. Coleman onto the field. Uh, temperature just slightly dropping here in Christchurch. And the sun now, full cloud cover. No win though, it's meant to pick up a little bit later in the day, I believe. There's Cole driving forward here. Here's this Todd Smith. Grover chips forward here for Cole. Can he keep this one in? Just rolls away again. And be another goal kick. Just haven't been able to find an answer today, have Selwyn. been relentless from United. There's Stevenson unable to keep that one under control. Push there for Cole as the referee does stop play to tell the player off. There's a good turn there from Khalifa. Sends that one forward for Todd Smith. Still going as Todd Smith. Cuts back inside. And again, can't get around Barima. Good turn there from Todd Smith. But again, Barima cutting down that angle. Making it difficult. Just trying to stem the flow at the moment. As it will be another set piece here for Lapsley on this near side. As Grover does the same again. And they go differently. As Cole, front post there, trying to flick that one on, but get it on target. So it will be a goal kick. Get us back underway. Launches this one long this time. No playing it out from the back as is... Carados able to get ahead on that one, but just didn't quite link up for them. And there's a good turn there from Mackay. But turned over again by McLennan. As they try to go forward again, but gonna be seen out there by all it just at the moment. They're just being dispossessed too easily, Selwyn. There's assistant referee says that's gone out forward here for Stokes. He chips, but again, Barima equal to it. Came out quickly, got big there from Stokes. There's sent long there, but it's no Driscoll there first. Tries to keep that one down. Coming forward is Mackay, but runs into O'Driscoll and forward come United. McLennan. There's Bad pass from him, allows Salwin to come forward. There's Godden, he tracks back, he'll get there first. Drops it off for his keeper, Morris. Got a few numbers forward here, do Salwin. Not enough of the team following up there, so 
United able to come again. Stokes in a bit of space here. As can't bring that one in. Karadus, far side now, trying to find the feet of Bakai, but as we see a change here for Christchurch United, will be Khalifa coming from the field, replacing, well, replaced by Main. As they just wait to see if Stokes is okay. So the change is made eventually. Main onto the field. We're in your number 20. Coleman. Ends up out of field for a sell and throw. Just trying to turn through players at the moment. Only too often sell one. And they can find some space. Unable to get out of the area on the far side. Turned over again. play at the moment. St stuck on that far side. Either side wanting to get it out of the tangle over there. As Todd Smith eventually does get it out of there. As Cole now, with a bit of space, he drives forward, Stevenson steps forward on him, still going as Cole, drives down the line, and he just puts it a little bit too far in front of him there, so it will be a goal kick and they go quickly, a bit of room here for Hanley, uh, that second pass is just costing them at the moment. As Todd Smith. Far side now for Lapsley. Stokes. Shapes to shoot. And just wide of the target there. And they go short again here. Do Selwyn. Far side for Amofo. Driscoll, a bit of pressure there from Cross for not, but it is back with United. It's just one droplet of rain there, possibly falling. No Driscoll. First to that one has gotten Lindsay. He steps forward. He's been full of beans today. The centre back. He's spurred on by that first goal he scored. There's Todd Smith now for Lapsley. Yes, they can't quite hit the target. It was Lindsay again. He had charged forward from centre back. Pretty fit though, able to jog back to halfway. And it is another goal kick. It's like ever so slightly dropping in temperature here. Main. Stokes drops for Cole. He can't connect here. 
And they come away as far as got him though. Set the moment. Sell when they try and clear their lines. It's just falling again for Christchurch United and they come again. It's been relentless as Stokes trying to walk through here. Got it. And there's a bit of a late challenge there. And it will be a card showing there for Caradouce. It's the second of the game so far. One for Khalifa in the first half. And Caradouce now. There's the edge over. 70th minute. into the final 20 and there's Lapsley on the far side trying to find a way through there eventually does fall and it will be a yellow card shown here for Godden there's treatment being called here Looking at the board, well, it might be Colin's last action of the game. And it does go up. It'll be replaced by King. It does eventually come up. So Goddard will be replaced by King. So, 17 minutes remaining here, 4-0 in favour of Christchurch United. Selwyn so a little bit more dangerous in the second half. As McLennan drives down the line on the far side. And it's Barima who... Gets in on that one. There's Hanley now. Far side for Amoa Foe. Mackay. Loses out there to McLennan. There's bit of a size mismatch, but the foul is called for Christchurch United. And they take it quickly here to United. Lindsay. Grover and a bit of space. As Cole uses him. As Cole drives forward looking to see that channel open up. Just drops back for Grover. Lindsay. O'Driscoll. Oh, he chips this one in trying to find Cole but does well to keep that one in as it is centred here but no one there forward for United as Todd Smith can't bring that under control and they will clear their line that one goes as far as Grosvenor sends it forward here for Mackay but Driscoll there first and they play it back to Morris 15 minutes remaining here 4-0 the scoreline Round 13, Southern lead action. United Sports Centre. No Driscoll. Both centre-backs today for Christchurch United. Happy to take that space when it's on offer. And there's a nice return there from Todd Smith. Just drops it back to his keeper. Lindsay. Finds Stokes. Chest back to Maine. Cole, driving forward is Cole, Maine, McLennan, Todd Smith, can't bring that under control. And it's cleared away as we see a change here. 
It's going to be Sims coming from the field. Wheeler number nine, Parker. Comes on for Selwyn. Sims work, big work effort for the number 11. It's back on defence a lot as well. And there's this one sent forward for Cole. Steps back inside. Good run here from Maine, but uses Stokes. Here's Maine, though, if he can bring this one in. Does well. Falls there for McLennan. Good touch from him. Drops back for Todd Smith. And a left-footed shot just wide of the target there from Stokes. Creating opportunities still, uh, Christchurch United. And in this half, Salwin choosing to go longer from the goal kicks. Not as many short plays. If it's on, they'll take it. But uh, Driscoll, Cole. Still going as Cole. Should be a foul, but advantage play there from the referee. As Lapsley puts that one forward for McLennan. As he loses out with that. And Amofo will look to throw this one in. So McLennan just jumps in the way there. Good turn here. From Coleman. Still going, but falls there for O'Driscoll. Lindsay. Grover drops for Lindsay. Cole. Lindsay's continued that run. No Driscoll. Lapsley. As Lindsay finds himself in midfield, but unable to bring that one under control. And it is a throw in which they take quickly. As O'Driscoll leaves this one behind. Numbers forward now for Salwin. But again, tracking back as McLennan stops that play in its tracks. As Carido sends this one forward for Grosvenor as it gets a shot away in Morris. First save of the day, I believe. 79 minutes into the game. As Grover plays in Cole. Stevenson stepping forward on him. As he finds a crossing opportunity, gives it for Stokes. Todd Smith now. Can he get a shot away? Lots of numbers in the box there for Salwin. All but one back. As Amafo does well there, but still falls. And he does manage to clear this one away. But it's Lapsley who's there. There's not enough numbers forward. Well, Sal and King finds Cole. And they try to clear that one away, but it'll bounce for a corner. As we tick over the 80th minute, 10 minutes to go here. 4 0 the scoreline. Goals for Lindsay, Peterson, Phillip, and Stokes. And there's a good clearance there from the captain. And his main unable to bring that one under control, but it falls again for Grover. Just clear their lines at the moment. And it just goes straight back as that one beats everyone. No Driscoll ducked under that. The time Salwin cleared their lines. It's just straight back to United. 
And they're back in there again pretty quickly. And there's Alec. Has to go back to his keeper. And Garima. He's managed to find a Moafo, but it's fallen again here for King. Grover. Todd Smith trying to find Main, but this is out and cleared away. And again, it's United. Who were there first as they send this one forward to Stokes. Plenty of time to bring that under control. Drops it back for Lapsley. Stokes again. Looks to deliver. McLennan's there. And a bit of a head clash there. Between the two players, the referee will pull it back. Just to check. The player probably just did enough to make the referee worry there. McLennan seems to be okay. To be fair, he looks like he's always injured, so hard to tell. There's McKay. There's a little bit of a conversation with the referee. Underway, Stevenson drops here for Mackay. Hanley. As they're forced back into their own corner. See what they can do to get out of here, but just takes a touch on the way through there. So will be Salwin Ball. This hasn't been very long possession periods in this game for Salwin. There's a good turn there from Coleman, but taken away by Cole. There's a late challenge there. It falls here for McLennan. Still going as McLennan, but good brave goalkeeping there from Barima. And so he works hard for that and is called back. And a yellow card showing there for the challenge. Well, he believes he got the ball. the third Christchurch United player into the book for today. Which in terms of the amount of possession Salwin has is relatively surprising. As Barima just takes a few extra metres. Let's see what they can do from here. Six minutes remaining in regulation time. And it will be a Christchurch United ball. Breeze starting to pick up a bit here. Todd Smith. Can't get around. Chance here for Salwin. Can they break forward? Good work from King. Plays to Cole. Stokes. Numbers charging forward here for United. And there's Cole in a bit of space. Centres, no one there though. But it falls back as far as Grover. He looks to deliver, but a good wee touch there. As it falls here for Lapsley. Gets a shot away, and it's in. There's cries of handball there. Not given. Says the referee in lap sleep makes it five. Clinical finish from the edge of the box for the number 23. And the second goal for the back line today. As we tick to five minutes to go. Can Selwyn find a goal in this game as we're back underway Alec he launches this one long trying to find Grosvenor but 
just doesn't fall as King eventually gets that one away. As it goes to Cole, as contact there and foul called on Stevenson. Not a bad spot to give away that free kick, though, from the number 14. Numbers charging forward. Just slows play down. Lapsley. Stokes. Back for King. O'Driscoll. Todd Smith now. Stokes. King. O'Driscoll. Lindsay, crossfield ball for Lapsley. As he drops for Stokes, who just drops it on the line. And Amal Foe says, thanks very much. And we're here with Colburn now. Can they find a way through this defensive line? Of course, they have only conceded four goals this year, Christchurch United in the Southern League. Tough defence to break down. Lapsley. Stokes now. Sends this forward for Cole, but Stevenson there first, but drops back only as far as Main. Bit of space for him. And there's pressure coming. Todd Smith. Sets back inside. Can he get a shot away? Does so, but straight at the keeper. And Barima equal to it. Two and a half minutes remaining here. Five nil the scoreline. Clinic put on today from Christchurch United. Selwyn just unable to maintain position. Christchurch United for long periods of the game. There's this type of press coming on. Just when they think they can get away with it. And there's Parker. Throws it forward here again. Parker just chips that one across to the middle, but it's O'Driscoll no there first. And it's back as far as Morris. He's had a relatively quiet game today. The throw there for Lapsley, who steps into the half. Sends this one forward, but too much on it. There's Barima able to keep that one in. The field of play. A more foe. Good ball forward here, but too much on it. As Grosser knows, going to have to chase that one the whole way, but will be a goal kick here. As we tick into the final minute of regulation time, looking at the board, I think there'll be four minutes. Of added time. Still plenty of time here for Selwyn to get one. As McLennan now coming forward. Alec comes across but can't get to it. Still going is McLennan as he centres. And it's Barima who's there first. And they go quickly here to Selwyn. They've got the numbers forward. Can they make something of this? It's Hanley stepping into the half. Parker with him. As United able to recover. And turned over again, it's Todd Smith in a bit of space. As he tries to send that one forward for Stokes. It goes as far as Barima. Caradus. Lapsley forward to that one. As Mackay and him come together, but it's Lapsley who comes away with it into the far corner. As regulation time. There's it. Possibly a foul. It is. And it is just on the edge of the area, says the referee. As the four minutes will be shown now by the fourth official. So a set piece opportunity here for Christchurch United. No, they're not choosing to send all numbers back, Salwin. Gosden uh, sitting up top. And 
to Lapsley just on the edge of the area. King and then numbers forward. As it is Lapsley who it comes to. Sends it in, headed away though. It'll be King who'll get there first. As he looks to deliver this one, but it'll be a shot on target. Really going to challenge Varim up from that range. As he throws forward here for a Moa Fobe. As him and Lapsley come together again. As Karadus gets forward to that one quickly. Barima under a bit of pressure has to clear his line. There'll be another throw in on the far side. We'll be three points here again for United. And Selwyn will things will start to get interesting for the remainder of the season for them. They look to hold their position in the Southern League for another year. As Christchurch United while they march towards another National League. Lindsay sent forward here for McLennan. He does well to bring that under control. Just recycling the ball so well here at United. As Todd Smith tries to leave that one, but eventually falls again for McLennan. As Caradus looks to play it out. This is where the pressure comes from United. And a great challenge. As sent forward here for Grosvenor, but Morris is forward and he headers that one to King. As Parker looks to chase him down. They come forward again to United. A rest for the Salwan defence. Cole looking to run at the defence. And still Cole, far side, chance, goal. That's the second for Stokes. And the sixth of the day for Christchurch United. And referee's time. But it's been a clinical performance here by the home side. Three goals in each half. After the last time these two sides played, Selwyn who held on for 90 minutes before going down two. Different story in this game. United just able to find a way through early. And there's still more time, says the referee. Stevenson gets around Cole, drops here for Parker, but Main is there. Stokes. McLennan intends to score his goals against teams in the final minutes of the games as Main offside. As referee keeping an eye on his watch. Just a quick check there. As the whistle goes to his mouth, and that'll do it here. Round 13 action of the Southern League. Christchurch United clinical performance over Salwood. They take the win six goals to nil. Goals to Lindsay, Peterson, Phillip, two to Stokes, and Lapsley to round it out. It's been a pleasure to call you through today's action. We'll see you in a couple of weeks for United's next home game. Until then, stay safe.